with Russell Westbrook coming from the Lakers, and we've talked about this a couple of times throughout the season, Mm -hmm. what do you think he is going to provide the Clippers in terms of guard depth? Well, he's going to be their number two option at the point guard position. Obviously, when you look at their depth chart right now, they're starting five. Terrence Mann does occupy that number one spot. But when it comes to Russell's effectiveness, this upcoming stretch for the Clippers, he has an opportunity here. Obviously, he maximized his potential in that six-man role with the Lakers. And throughout his certain stretches within those first couple months as a Laker this year, uh, he was definitely getting some nods as a potential six-man of the year candidate. And then there were stretches where he kind of fell back down to earth. It's kind of the ups and downs that kind of come with Russell Westbrook over the last couple of years. When you look at Russell with Houston, didn't really necessarily work out there, but he had a good comeback stint with the Wizards. And then he kind of had a mixed bag when it comes to the Lakers. So when it comes to Russell's effectiveness with the Clippers, it's iffy for me because you're going to get a little bit of good that comes with Russell, obviously with his athleticism, his ability to get to the rim quickly. Those are some positive aspects with him. But then there are times where he gets in the shooting slumps and he'll shoot bricks. He'll shoot 20 to 25% a game. But if he's going to be that six-man option coming off of the bench for the Clippers, I think that he could serve as a decent utility player for them. But I want to be careful the way that I phrase this because I made a point about Russell Westbrook last year about where his career is going, and I'm going to reinforce this point. To me, this is it when it comes to Russell and his future aspects or future prospects when it comes to the rest of his career. He's got an opportunity to be a part of a good team with the Clippers and try to get a championship next to his name. And he's got to maximize this opportunity as best as he can. And he, of all people, knows that. And he's got to go out there and play. Because if it does not work out here with the Clippers, if it goes south and you're getting more of the the Houston Rockets Russell Westbrook, or at times what we saw from Russ with the Lakers where he just couldn't shoot effectively. Russell's going to get passed around the league, very similar to what Carmelo Anthony experienced at the end of his career. And I think that Russell still has the ability to play. But to me, this comes down to whether or not that front offices want to make moves in regards to Russell to be able to bolster their roster with him in the fold. It's either that or they stick with their young cores, with their young guys that they have on the roster. And that's going to be dictated by what I think Russell's going to do here for the next two, maybe three months, depending on how far the Clippers go into the playoffs this year. Because they will be a playoff team. They're top four in the Western Conference right now. I believe they're only nine games back of the first seed. The Denver Nuggets occupy that spot. They're probably not going to get that just because Denver's far and ahead. And there's just not enough time where I think the Clippers are going to catch up. But they could try to make their way to potential three seed, at best, maybe a two seed. And if Russell plays up to snuff here, I think that he could give them a decent position. Obviously, you know, when you talk about the Clippers, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, those are the two focal pieces of the team. But Russell could be a huge player coming off the bench. Like I said, this is a big opportunity for him. And if he makes the most of it, it could serve him well for the next couple of years. And if it doesn't, to me, you know, this is really the beginning of the end when it comes to Russell Westbrook's career in the NBA. And I'll simply just leave it at that. I'm really not going to go in that regard, right? Kyle and I already had not necessarily a disagreement, but kind of a difference of opinion in terms of what we believe Russell Westbrook's going to provide for the Clippers. I'm not going to go as far and say that his career is detrimentally dependent upon the result of this season. I mean, the Clippers have been doing what they're doing without Russell. Him being on this squad pretty much just adds that definitive point guard role. I know that Reggie Jackson was there, but Reggie Jackson wasn't a true passing point guard. He was more of a two, more of a scorer. Um, Luke Kennard, obviously, more focalized in the shooting guard role and the small forward. So they haven't necessarily had a definitive point guard. I mean, Terrence Mann played the two and the three at Florida State. I don't necessarily know that he's going to be able to facilitate the basketball at a consistent enough clip to be considered a point guard. But once again, the definitive roles of what the NBA used to be by position is no longer the same. Some people are playing positions that aren't what they were drafted 
four and isn't what they're classified as, but they're just filling the role for the sake of, I guess, stat padding or, you know, well, technically we're going to go small ball today. Like Draymond's six, eight, and he plays the five a lot of times for Golden State. And that's a very undersized five. So that's kind of the point I'm getting at. Anyway, my biggest thing with Russell is the second unit he is going to be a part of is going to be a very effective unit. For me, what I'm seeing right now in that second unit, you have Powell, you have Eric Gordon, you have Plumlee, and then there's there's the fourth that, Kyle, you had mentioned who that fourth was going to be, that power forward. I can't remember who it is, but it's just, it continues to add to the point of, you have two shooters, Powell is shooting 40% from three, Eric Gordon's a known three-point shooter, obviously Mason, or is it Mason Plumlee that was from the, the, from the, uh, from the Hornets? Yeah, he, I, think he, I think he had a stint with the uh, the Denver Nuggets, if I remember correctly. And uh, the power forward that you're looking for is Nicholas Batum. So, so Batum, another shooter. And then you, is, is it Mason Plumley? Yep. An alley ooper, a guy that can block shots, an athletic five. Uh, again, he can run the pick and roll. Obviously, Nicholas Batum can hit in the corner. Nicholas Batum's a good defender. I think this was for the sheer fact that the Clippers needed some depth. Clippers needed a point guard. Russell's going to be able to facilitate. Russell is going to be able to play solid offense in terms of getting to the basket, creating mismatches on the floor, especially running that high pick and roll with Mason Plumlee, and then finding ways to get those shooters, hitting those shooters in stride. And if he does play with the first unit, if he happens to run on the floor with Paul George, with Kawhi Leonard, with Zubac, and the Morris brother, all of them can shoot, obviously outside of Zubac, you just have to run. It's like John Wall said when he first got there. If I'm the third option, I really wish you luck. Russell can push the floor. Russell can finish at the rim. We all know how explosive he is, and we all know he's got some of the best court vision in the NBA. When you have two strong wings, athletic wings at that, in Kawhi and PG, we've already seen Russell play with Paul George. And I think Paul George had a pretty out career year that year if I'm not mistaken he was in the MVP conversation and I believe he fell in third or fourth and that was with Russell Westbrook on his team James Harden won an MVP that was with Russell Westbrook on his team people forget he has played with MVP caliber players Kevin Durant won an MVP in 2014 Russell Russell Westbrook was his point guard now you have two MVP caliber players at the wing you have a good old-fashioned big that can run the pick and roll and the second unit big and you have shooters I think this is a way better fit than what it was going to be with the the Lakers because Kawhi brings the ball up sometimes. PG, PG brings the ball up sometimes. But when it comes to Russell, when he's on the floor, he won't have to go back and forth with Braun anymore. He's not going to have to say, you know what, I want the ball in my hands. Russell can distribute the ball effectively. He's going to be able to take advantage on one-on-one matchups, and I really believe he's going to be able to kick that second unit into gear. And again, in spurts, if inserted into the starting lineup, I really believe that Russell Westbrook, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George can be a solid three-headed beast when it comes to postseason time. 